Northern Ireland's number one for greatest hits, it's Downtown Radio live from the Vauxhall corporate tent at the International Northwest 200 and uh, Rachel's back at HQ, good morning again Rachel. I'm joined now by former British motorcycle champion, a competitor at the Northwest and since then a commentator here at the event, Steve Parrish. What makes the Northwest 200 such a special event? Would have to be the weather, well it certainly is it this certainly, year. Yeah. I think there's just something unique about the Northwest 200, it's um, a full grid of full-blooded motorcycle racers not on a time trial it is actually a mass start here on the road speeds of over 200 miles an hour um, it is just something it's breathtaking when you stand on the side of the road and watch what these guys are doing and having done it I know how brave and how Focus those guys are doing it and also the fans that come here because they're so passionate about it and it's a family atmosphere and it's a, a festival of everything that's going on so it, it incorporates every form of motorcycle racing you could ever imagine and it is just possibly the most unique event I ever go to. Connor Duncan is a volunteer who helps provide medical services at the Northwest 200. St John's Ambulance one of the biggest providers. Connor tell us a wee bit about your involvement. Uh, yeah, well, myself, I am one of the main people who work on the preparation of the Northwest throughout the year as a lot of the events, so I do a lot of the operational planning behind the scenes before we even get to actual down to race day, uh -huh. so that's my main sort of stuff, then down on race day I'll be working with the, like, the race control, making sure our volunteers on the ground are working with all the agencies out there, whether it be your MCI, your Red Cross, the uh, ambulance service and all the other agencies uh, looking after the riders and the uh, public as well. And how many volunteers do you have? Well, on average we have between 50 and 75 volunteers on site at any one time. We provide about 23 out of the 32 medical posts around the site, so you're guaranteed to uh, meet us and join ambulance personnel at some stage when you're out about uh, enjoying the Northwest this week. And is this something that anybody can get involved with? Yeah, certainly. St John Ambulance is one of the biggest medical providers, uh, voluntary medical providers in Northern Ireland. Uh, we ask for people from all walks of life to join us. Uh, you don't have to be a doctor or a nurse. We have them in the organisation. I myself am a hotel manager. We have plumbers, builders, um, childminders, you name it. It's wide ranging, so it's open for anyone. We provide the training. Uh, and we probably one of the biggest medical trainers in Northern Ireland as well at the minute in time. So whether it be workplace training uh, or training, say, people within our units. <laughs> Fergus Mackay, Operations Manager of the Vauxhall International Northwest 200. The time has arrived, the people are starting to arrive, the buzz is in the air. How on earth do you pull this event together? Gary, you've said it yourself, people. It's all about people. You look at the grandstands, you look at the infrastructure, but behind all of that it's just about people. Very few people come to this event and give so much, for so much gratitude. You know, most of our workforce here are volunteers. They're taking weeks off work to come, put their shoulder to the wheel, make this happen. I'm sure it's the best event in the country, it's the best event in the world. Look what we've done. We're ready to go. How many people are you expecting? Oh, we're going to have the best part of 100,000 people. They're coming here. There's a, the racers, we've got the best racers on the best track, best weather in the world. You know, they're going to come and see past legends like Carl Fogarty on Friday and Saturday. You're going to have Johnny Ray coming around, waving at all the people. You know, arguably one of the best riders that's ever come out of the country. Sure, where could you get it? Mervyn White, you started working at the event in 1973 as a marshal. You're now event director. How on earth has the Vauxhall International Northwest 200 changed in that time? Gary, it'll probably take about six hours to tell you <laughs> just, you know, all the changes over the years. I started at GCD Marshall in 1973. Uh, I started working at DuPont and a few of the guys had asked me if I would marshal. Uh, and that's where it kicked off and then spent a number of years in various jobs, various roles from race secretary to race treasurer. Actually, he was involved in the course build way back in, in sort of the mid-70s, you know. And at that stage, I think we really built the course in about two days. Now it takes the guys two months. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's just gone from sort of having a few caravans and a field here with, you know, sort of muck and dirt and that uh -huh. type of thing just you know to what we have at the present time you know if you look at the facilities we have this year with this two-tiered structure for you know for the emergency services ground floor ourselves on the top floor if you look at you know we have four big screens this year a hundred square meter screen here at the start if you look at sort of four and a half thousand grandstand seats i mean nothing like that was ever envisaged away back in those days so and then if you look at the competitors we have here i mean with the world best you know, number of competitors who only race at the Northwest, the likes of your Seelys, your Glen Irvins, your Terman Williams, you know, so with the cream of the crop, you know, so as I say, the amount of changes com compared to then is immense. In 1973, the event cost £5,000. 
the event is costing us now on slightly under a million pounds to run just you know so you know it's a massive Massive undertaking and massive changes in all those years. And of course it's still free to attend and all you ask is that people that are coming here will buy a <coughs> programme. How vital is that support? That's our main source of income. I mean, if, if people would go out and support us, that's all we ask them to do. Purchase the purchase the programme because, as I say, that's where the bulk of our money is made from. We're fortunate, you know, we have brilliant sponsors and the likes of Boxall as your title sponsor. We're lucky that we have individual race sponsors, you know, our third tier sponsors and corner sponsors. So. Very, very fortunate that way, and you know, brilliant support from the Cause of Coast and Glensborough Council, uh, who provide funding and, and support in kind to help us to build the course and things like that. So it's just it, it has moved on so much over all those years. You know, it's just it's uh, it would take too long to tell you. And what does the future hold? The future's looking bright. You know, I mean, I think this event will prop, you know, will prosper. Uh, it's very, very much a family event. It's on the north coast of Northern Ireland. You have Port Rush, Port Stewart, Coleraine here, you know. And from that point of view, people come, they want to see it. And you know, with the sun shining, you know, it makes a world of difference. So uh, I think it's got a bright future. Michael Rudder, 25 years coming to the North West, 200, 14 wins, and uh, still competing in both the Superstock and the Superbike race. What makes this event so special for you? Um, I think uh, well, like everyone asks that question, uh, coming over to Ireland, spectators are just fantastic. Uh, you get um, such a thrill going down the straights, doing over 200 mile an hour. Uh, you don't get anywhere else in the world. And uh, um, slipstreaming is just uh, when you can be, you know, in a in a pack of six, and you can be in that sixth position, and you can be leading by the end of the straight. It's uh, phenomenal racing. And your highlights from the uh, from your time of coming here. I think we've had so many over the years. We've raced with so many different people. Uh, um, it's hard to mention one. I think um, when you win and stop on, stand on the top step of that podium, uh, it's awesome. And you're looking out over the over the coast there. It's uh, you can't beat it. And what's your favourite part of the course? Um, oh, it's it's real difficult. Um, I I like the faster corners, which a lot of them have been fortunately slowed down by the chicanes. But uh, you know, I think. You know, when you're going down towards Metropole or uh, and going down to University, when you're on on the brakes there, um, it's so fast. And when you hit the brakes, it's uh, it's a phenomenal feeling. And you're a big favourite with the fans here. Do you? Uh, how do you find the Northern Ireland people? Oh, it's like I said, they're so interested in the sport, and and not just with me. You know, they they love everyone in the racing world. I think they do uh, do appreciate it.